Should I turn it off about? Yeah. You think you can see it? Yeah. What's, What's up, L fans? And welcome back to another Ed and Lana video. Uh, it's been a tough week. Uh, I think it's been a tough year for a lot of us out here. And we just wanted to stop by and give you guys a message of hope um, to give you guys an idea of some of the things that you could be doing if you're having a tough year. Um, I know this year started off 2020 and uh, it's been pretty crazy. We've, I don't know if you guys watch this girl on YouTube. Which one? Daniel Lorenzo. Oh. <laughs> Daniel Lorenzo. I'm probably going to put a, a, a link or something so you guys can go watch this video, but it cracked me up. It was hilarious. Um, but if you remember, um, for a lot of us in Florida, there was uh, iguanas were falling from the sky earlier this year. If you're in South Florida. If you were in South Florida mm -hmm. and <laughs> frozen, and then they were like waking back up. Yeah, we started the year actually with a really, really bad cold front. Yeah, we did. Um, so some the weather wasn't great. and. Um, I know there was some stuff elsewhere in the world too. I mean, even, I mean, Miami even had a uh, earthquake, a really tiny earthquake, right, but right. they did. Uh, so it's been a fun year. <laughs> um, but one thing that I think that we shouldn't forget is that God is still on the throne. Yes. Um, that's very important yeah. that we remember that. Um, yeah. So we want to give you guys some hope. We want to come in here and give you guys some tips on some of the things that you could do right now if you're maybe going through a lot or you don't know how to, you know, pick yourself up. Um, we want to give you guys some tips right now. For everybody else, um, thank you for watching and maybe you could use these tips to help somebody else that you know is going yeah. through it. Um, so, did you want to start? Uh, no, you can start. Okay. Number one, put down your phone after this video. Yes. <laughs> put down your phone because you're going to be getting so many notifications on everything that's going on right yeah. now. Um, the news right now can be a little bit much to pay attention to, but put down your phone and pick up your Bible. Um, I think that's very important because during all of this craziness, during this crazy year, it's important to hear what God has to say about yeah. everything. So put down your phones, pick up your Bible, and that'll take you kind of out of the craziness of what's going on right now. Yeah. I think that's the first thing. Um, second, well, what else would you, you know, say? Stay away from news, stay away from social media, you know. Um, uh, there's a lot of like uh, uh, bickering in, in church and politics right now. Yeah. Um, just take a step back. Mm -hmm. Just take a step back. Let things be. Pray about them. Yeah. But don't let them affect you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, there are a lot of people that um, this whole time with, the, uh, with COVID and the elections, um, not being able to spend time with family and friends has led to uh, uh, depression and different issues. And, yeah. um, part of it is not focusing you know it's focusing on things outside of your control um and so try to focus on those things that you can control you know spend time with your family mm -hmm. spend time with friends mm -hmm. uh but maybe not so much on things that are outside of your control like politics and news and and stuff like that yeah spending more time with god yeah spending more time with god is what i was going to say too is take some time as well not only to read your bible but to also speak with god you know mm -hmm. and let some of those things that you're dealing with you know let it go and and, and offer it yeah. to him you know um to take off of your plate um and i think that that would help too because i feel like a lot of us feel a little burden right now with everything that's going on um but if you lay that at yeah. the feet of jesus and let him take it and you know just embrace that peace that he's given us um, I think that that would help you as well. Yeah. And whether the good thing about this advice is whether you're a Christian or not, if you're a Christian, your eyes should be on the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're not Christian, you can still apply this. Don't just take a step back away from the news. Take, away, take a step back from the media. Yeah. Um, and just take some time to spend with your friends, your family. Uh, take some time of reflection. Uh, but don't focus on these things that are outside of your control. Yeah. 100% agree. Uh, I think that that's something that you guys can do right now. Um, if you guys, if you know someone who's going through it right now, who's having a tough time, I think it, it's important to share these tips with them. Um, I had a coworker um, recently who was going through a tough time and I didn't know he was going through a tough time, but um, I just felt like, man, ask him how he's doing, like ask him how he's really doing. And so I wrote him one morning and he, I said, you know, hey, how are you? And he was like, I'm good, how are you, you know? And I was just like, good, but you know, how are you really? You know, I know this week has been a lot, you know, busy at work and things like that. And he was just like, you know, thank you so much for, 
for um, asking. You know, I'm, I'm going through a lot at home. I'm going through a lot right now. Um, yeah. I know things are getting better, but that's but that's what he said. He said he was going through a lot, yeah. and so it meant a lot that someone actually you know asked him how he was doing. So I think in this time, even if you're not going through something, somebody else might be going through something. Oh, yeah. And if you notice, pray for that person, reach out to that person, and just be that you know hope for them during this time. Yeah. I mean, likewise for me at work, there was a. Uh... One of my coworkers, um, she's an older lady and she's, she's going through depression. You know, she hasn't seen her children in months because they live across the country. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're afraid to go anywhere. They're afraid to do anything, um, you know, uh, working from home. So she, not even the coworkers who are her, her second family. So it, 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 it can really be tough if you don't just take a pause, take time to reflect, take time to separate yeah. yourself because she's always in the news. That's all mm -hmm. she does. Um, so those are just some some of the reasons why we say what we say. Yeah, we hope you guys like this video. I know it's a little different from what we've done um, in the past, yeah. but um, we really felt like it was a good time to talk to you guys and give you these tips. So remember, put the phone down, listen to some worship music, maybe um, pray, um, get out there. And and also, you know, if you are a Christian, our video last week on worship, I think it's a good reminder not only not only be in prayer but be in thanksgiving yeah be in worship yeah those are the type of things that will transform a situation in that your was life sweet thanksgiving's yeah. coming up so that was yeah. a really good one be in that that atmosphere right now Gra be thankful gratitude that you're gratitude, alive it's healing mm -hmm. you know grat to be grateful it reminds you the good things those little things that we take for granted oh my goodness we're healthy oh my goodness we have a roof over our heads maybe it's maybe it's not a five hundred thousand dollar house but it's a roof over our heads right uh, maybe we're not driving a ferrari but we're driving a ford and yeah. the ford gets us there and it takes us back mm -hmm. you know um so those are the, the different things that uh we take for granted sometimes yeah all right yeah. guys this was a good one. <laughs> um, we hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let us know if there's anything that you would like us to talk about down below. We'd love to talk about things. Yeah. Sorts of things. We love to talk. Give us your life topics. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about it. And we'll talk about it. Um, so, all right, guys, go ahead and comment down below if there's anything that you would like us to pray for during this time, any person that you would like us to pray for. We'd love to go ahead and do that. But for now, um, that was this video. Yeah. We hope you guys enjoyed, um, but we will see you next week. Have a good one, guys. Bye, <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>